gambling isn't terrible because it's morally wrong. Gambling is terrible because it is mathematically stacked against you. We all know the house always wins, but in some rare cases, the house screws up and it goes in the favor of the player, which is exactly the case with the new surprise draw. Now, let me explain why that is, what evidence I have, and why you still probably shouldn't do it. The grand surprise draw is somewhat unusual. You have gambling for gambling and the new grand surprise containers, which include another container, the container which has either a 20% drop chance for a tank or includes gold. And if you already have the vehicle that's in the crate, you get the gold value. So essentially, if you already have all the vehicles in the crate, you have a 100% chance of getting golden returns. That is exactly what a smart boy on my member server has found out mathematically. That is that if you play the draw, you have a very good chance if you go all in and spend all 39,999 gold, you will very likely be able to profit from that and go out with more gold than you started with. However, this only works if you already have all the vehicles in the surprise draw or you want the vehicles that are in the surprise draw because if you don't have the vehicles, you get the vehicle instead of the gold. But if you already have all of the vehicles and you invest the full 40,000 gold, that is also very important here, you cannot stop early. You have to go all the way to the end to 40,000 gold to make this work even remotely. But at the end, if you do that, you will most likely get a positive return out. You can still lose. That is a very important thing to consider as well. You can still lose gold, which is one of the reasons why I don't recommend trying it out because you could still end up at a net loss. It's just somewhat unlikely that you end up with a negative return in terms of your gold. So Wargaming accidentally, I think, made a gambling draw that for once is stacked against Wargaming rather than against the player. So now let's have a look exactly what my findings was and also the findings of a couple of other guys that also tested it to confirm the data. So how does the experiment even work? You have to buy everything in here. You have to fully commit because these seven grand surprise containers are absolutely essential to getting the gold. Mystery boxes and collect them all containers are terrible value. There's pretty much barely anything in them in most cases you are gonna get a couple of thousand gold out of them because each seven collect them all you're gonna get a thousand gold but you're not gonna get a lot of out of these so what has to happen here is you have to open and clean all of the grand surprise containers because if you look inside this thing these are very unusual crates right here because they include 80% drop chance for a gold and 20% drop chance for a vehicle. If you already have the vehicle, you get compensated with the gold. Obviously, the higher tier the vehicle, the better the gold value in it. So to get maximum profit, you would have to get a maximum amount of tier 10 containers out of this draw, even though you're not going to. But the higher your amount of tier 10 containers is, the more gold you're going to profit. If you only were to get tier 6 containers, you could even lose some gold, but that is obviously unlikely because the drop chance of each crate is the same. So on average, you're going to get a level of gold returned to you that is more than the 40,000 gold that you invested by getting these crates, opening them, and getting this gold out of the crates. Now, I initially really didn't want to try this because it is gambling and it is bad however it's also just math so if the math happens to be bad on the seller side then you have a very good chance of making profit and after finding out that other people have already made profit before this so thank you everyone for wasting your gold to try this and profiting with your gold so then i thought i have to try this myself for science now once again I don't recommend doing this unless you already have the vehicles and unless you have 40,000 gold lying around. But this could be seen as essentially just extra free gold if you go all the way. So I'm just going to open all of these. Now, it doesn't really matter what order you get them because you will have to basically go to the end anyway. Unless you get all of the grand surprise containers before you get, for example, collect the mole containers, which... If your last thing left over would be collect them all containers, you don't need those. But obviously the likelihood of that happening is very, very low. So you will most likely have to go all the way to the end. But even with that, 
it is possible that you can get a good return. Now, as you can see in my experiment as well, I have to go all the way to the end because the seven grand surprise containers is what is essential for this to work. Because now we're going to go over here and have a look what I have. 23 collectible, four mystery boxes, 13 grand surprise and four mega. Now, these, they're not really going to return you that much. A couple of gold, 500 gold, 750 gold. That's what you're going to get out of these. Uh, the mystery boxes, the collectible crates... You're going to open them, right? But this is not where you get the majority of the gold out of. So this is just like you're opening pointless crates after a while. The grand surprise containers, that's where the money's at. Now these, collect them all though. If you get a amount that is divisible by seven, you will be able to get a thousand gold for each seven. So if you get 21, you will then get 3,000 gold just from opening the crates themselves. They don't really include any gold otherwise, so in that regard, they're somewhat useless. But if you get 21 or above, or in this case, you get 23, you will be able to open the 3,000 gold as well. So, not really looking good though, right? We started at 45k, now I'm at 15k. So this is where the money's at. This is where we're going to have to make the money out of these 13 containers. And obviously, to open them, you got to first extract the other crates out of the crates. Now, a lot of tier 10s here, also some tier 6s. So my return's probably not going to be that great. Loza Sherman, only 750,000. But here, Badger. I already have the Badger. That's 5k. The Object 260s, so those are guaranteed 10k gold. 750 on the Poodle, 1,000 on the MX. So this is just going to keep going. And if this goes high enough, and unfortunately I got the Britannia, but for that, I'm going to have 750 gold as well, which is very nice. You just get compensated. Unfortunately, the STRV, so these low tier vehicles that really hurt. What you want is you want as much tier 10s as possible in this. That's how you profit. If you get too many tier 6s, you might lose. But most of the time, you're going to make a pretty good profit because of all the 5k gold in here. And at the end, that's not a... Yeah. At the end, I started at 46k. I ended at 50,000. So a very small profit that I've made here. And I'm not the only one that made a profit like that. Other people... Nino as well. My name's Nino. He also did it and he also got a profit as well. So this is one of the very rare occasions where the math is in favor of the player and not in favor of the house. But again, remember, it is still gambling. It is not guaranteed that you will win. You can still lose. And if you don't already have 40,000 gold, this will most likely not pay off. And if you don't already have a lot of the vehicles, might end up getting tanks you don't want instead of the gold that you do want. So be very careful. It is a whale's game. So if you're free to play, if you don't spend a lot of money on Blitz, this is unfortunately not going to be of much assistance. But if you're a whale player, this might be an interesting way to try and increase the gold that you have. So here's the thing. Negative return gambling is always bad and should never, ever be played. But in very rare cases, like this one, you seem to have a mathematically positive return on your investment, in which case you could, at your own risk of course, try and go for it, because a lot of the people that tried it already have gotten a positive return. Now, that doesn't mean that you will get a positive return, it just means you're likely to get a positive return. So, what do you think about it? Are you going to try? Are you going to ignore it? And remember, this only applies to this very one draw. It doesn't say anything about the rest of crates, because those are mostly negative return gambling, which are absolutely terrible that you should never play. So this only applies to this one draw, to be very, very clear with that. So, are you going to try it out? What do you think about it? Should Wargaming do more of these? I mean, probably, I guess, because it's literally free gold in most cases, not all the time, obviously. But this one seems to work, so thank you very much again, Berke, for finding it out. And don't gamble unless you know that you're mathematically likely to win. And even then, be careful.